Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. We are in lab number seven, exercise number three. We're going to incorporate scheduled toasts. And so this will allow us to display these little toasts, these little small windows with messages from the app itself or from Windows notification services. And you can include text and images and sound. And so we're going to use this to simulate a reminder in our app. So uh, let's go ahead and start by adding another button to the app bar to schedule a reminder. Uh, and then we will schedule the reminder. So whenever the button is clicked, we will go through the process of scheduling that toast. And then the toast should pop up. Uh, as we can see, um, if we uh, turn on the enable toast notification. So let's just go ahead and step our way through this. Let's begin with adding a new style to our item detail page.xaml. So we're going to put that in the page.resources section. So here we are in the item detail page.xaml. And we've already done this once. We're just going to paste our new style underneath our brag app bar button style. So this will be for our reminder app bar button style. Next up, we're going to add a new button, the reminder button. So let's copy that and put that, where does it want it? In the end of the left commands. Okay, so right here. All right, and so in just a moment, we'll implement this on reminder button clicked. It'll use our new style that we just created a moment ago. Okay, next up, we want to add two new using statements the windows.ui.notifications, which will allow us to schedule the toasts, and then also pop-ups. And we use this for uh, to display, I guess, a warning or information to the user. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Just keep that pop-ups in your mind. So let's go to our item detail page.xaml.cs file, and we'll paste in the using statements. And then we want to implement that on reminder button clicked event. So let's copy that, and then once we paste it in, we'll talk about it. So we'll go all the way here to the bottom. We're starting to pile up several of these app bar uh, cl button clicked events. But as you can see, we get uh, several new namespaces and classes to work with. Uh, first of all, we're going to create a new toast notifier object, and the eventual goal here of the notifier is to add to schedule a new scheduled toast notification, uh, which will include the template and when it should be uh, when it should be fired off. So we'll talk about that in a moment. So that's the purpose of the notifier. The first thing we do is to make sure the setting is not uh, it, that it is enabled. If it's not enabled, what we want to do is pop up a uh, a message dialog, and that's where that. Um, that namespace windows.ui.popup it it creates a Windows 8 um, message I guess you could say across the the entire middle of the uh, of the of the uh, the page and uh, we'll see that in action here in a little while but if for example notifications have been turned off by the user then we want to notify them that hey you can't currently don't expect a notification to fire because you turned off notifications for your entire um, for your entire machine, and we'll come back to that thought uh, in just a little bit. But then, what we want to do is get a template, get a content template, and there are a number of different kinds of templates. If you do a search on Microsoft.com for Toast template type enumeration, you can see they do a nice job of showing you the different versions. Uh, so here is a Toast image and text 01 and and 02 and 03 and it just has to do really with the placement of the image how large the text is whether it's wrapped or, or and so forth okay and so which one are we going to use we're using the toast text 01 so that would be this one here all right so no images just wrapped text as much that, as that can fit on across three lines of text okay and so then we want to just create a text node called reminder so it'll be very simple. 
Once we have the template in place, then we need to create when we want this notification to pop up. So we're just gonna take now and add 30 seconds. So that's what we need to schedule a new toast notification. And then we tell the notifier to schedule our new toast, okay? So let's see it in action. Well, let's see if do we have any other actions we need to perform here. All right, so that looks like that's all that we need. Let's go ahead and run the app. All right, so let's go to our item detail page, and then I'm going to right click in here and click reminder. And it says notifications are currently disabled. All right. So that was the pop-up that we just saw. And one thing we need to do uh, that we haven't done yet is to turn on and make this toast capable by setting uh, that uh, option to yes. So let's go ahead to the app X manifest file. And we're going to go down to making this toast capable and set that equal to yes. Save. And then we are going to go ahead and do this again. All right. And so it suggests we just kind of leave here and go off someplace else. Let's go ahead and just open up. Oh, the sports app. And after 30 seconds or so, we should see a notification in the upper right hand corner. And we do we get the reminder and the little Contoso uh, logo. Very cool. Let's go ahead and shut that down. Now, what I want to do is show you in Windows how to. Um, at what conditions would cause the notifications to be turned off and why we might see that message bar appear. The first time it appeared because we didn't have our app um, manifest correctly set uh, and that was on purpose. Uh, but this time we can show you situations where that might actually occur. If you take a look at settings, there's this notifications and this says, hey, uh, leave me alone for one hour, three hours, eight hours, whatever the case might be. So that's one way that a user could temporarily disable notifications. The other is to go to um, change PC settings and there is a notifications uh, tab on the, uh, or selection on the left hand side. And so on a case by case basis, we can, for example, turn off notifications for a given app. In which case, if we were to try to run this again, and click the reminder, we get notifications currently disabled. So hopefully you see how that's all wired up there. Okay, so uh, of all the more recent lessons, this is one of my favorite because I love being able to notify users of changes or information. So um, I'm thinking of uh, creating a long running casual game that uh, I'd like to build and it would use the notifications to let users know that uh, perhaps their spaceship has indeed arrived at a new distant planet and that they've encountered some gray goo that makes everybody in the ship turn into aliens, okay? That would be a fun game and a cool way to integrate this type of casual game into the operating system by using notifications. All right, so uh, enough about that. Now we get to the really interesting part, which is how do we profit from our games? How do we integrate the uh, the Windows Store API into our, into our apps? And so we'll see you there in the next lesson. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.